Ah, this is the life. I relax in bath and hygiene in the time of coronavirus. So perfect. Hello, the phone. Who could that be? Hello? Hey, oh, and it's Glenn. Hey, Glenn, great to hear from you. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. You know, keep insane. That's good. I found that meditative, relaxing baths are very helpful in a time like this. Wow, that's a really good tip. I should try that sometime. Yeah, that's good. Also, I've been working really hard on my version of Spotted Pony for the Variety Show. Do you want to hear it? Ha! <laughs> Spotted Pony? Oh, yeah. Here it is. Could you hear it? Could, yeah, it's good. It's got a little, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of joyous and bubbly sounding. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. That's so nice of you. So should I play it in the variety show? Yeah, whatever you want, man. Uh, you know, that's actually one of the reasons I was calling. Uh, the variety show is, uh, it's happening pretty soon. Really? <laughs> yeah, uh, like almost now. Oh. And uh, I think you're the first act there, Owen. Oh my god! Owen? Hello? Ah. Well, it's a good thing I called, and it's a good thing I still have some minutes left on that thing. Welcome to the Virtual Main Fiddle Camp Variety Show! We have a great program for you with some fantastic camper acts, some excellent staff performances, and some completely adequate segues from your hosts, Owen Marshall, and myself, Glenn Moper. First up, uh, a staff member who plays fiddle in the Quebecois band Tidal Wave. Please make him feel welcome, accompanied by Mr. Bubbles himself. It's Eric Favreau and Owen Marshall. Take it away, gents. people from Main Federal Camp. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, my violin is right there. And, and, he, oh yeah, come in. Hey. Come in, Howard. Yes. Hey, Thank you, Paige. That's this height. Oh, yeah, hey, sure. Good to see you. <laughs> hey. Very nice to see you, my friend. Nice to see yes. you. Oh, yes, you have a very good head. <laughs> <laughs> I was just oh. in the bath. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, I was just in the bath. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Sure. Do you bathe much? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Do you ever use mayo in the bath? No. 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 no I do. It's good for my skin and my oh. hair. Oh. You ready? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Very luscious. Oh, it's very nice for you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you think about playing music? <laughs> I think yeah. that'd be great. Huh? I think it'd be great. What? Oh no 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 no! Absolutely no problem at the border this year. <laughs> Canadian. No, no, no oh, problem. Jesus. Yeah. But if you are ready, I'm ready. I okay. am ready.
Thank always, you, Eric. Always a pleasure to play with you. But my always. pleasure is mine. Yeah. And thank you, everybody. And oh, maybe just a little thing, you know. Oh, Ooh. look at that. <laughs> I had a little baby bell. It's for the people from Infant Camp. You will understand this. And it will be especially for Doug. Oh, for Doug. Take care, everybody. I hope to see you soon. Au revoir, à la prochaine. Yes. Goodbye. Thanks, Eric. Great to hear you. Great to see you. Sorry I was a little late. But thankfully, Doug let us use the MFC satellites for that very real, very in-person performance you just witnessed. Incredible. Up next is a quartet of gentlemen. We could call them the Fab Four, but I call them the Little Fields. Take it away. Here's a medley of Scottish tunes. you all. See you at Maine Fiddle Camp in 2021. Bye. Thank you, Malcolm, 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 and of course, Malcolm. Man, what a quartet. I wonder how he cloned himself and then
taught them all musical instruments, and then stuffed them in those little tiny rooms like that. <laughs> uh, well, our next group is a trio of some siblings from Tyaskin, Maryland. Uh, Main Field Camp's got lots of folk heroes, and every good hero needs a good villain. So without much further ado, please welcome the Folk Villains. Hi, we're the Folk Folk Villains on the front porch of our log cabin in the marsh, and today we're going to be playing two songs to you, Bonnie Tammy and Over the Britches. Elijah, it's not Over the Britches, it's Oh the Britches. Oh. The Britches. <laughs> that I had some britches earlier. Sorry about that. Well, it's back to the fabulous virtual main fiddle camp staff. And uh, before we go any further, I would like to just take a moment to acknowledge uh, the incredible dedication and care so many teachers have been displaying through this pandemic. My wife is a teacher, as is Mr. Steve Muse. And it's been incredible watching them adapt in real time to suit the needs of their students who they care so much about. Mr. Muse's motto is, don't be afraid to be awesome. And I think Mr. Muse is the definition of awesome. Take it away, Steve. Hi, everyone. Here's one of my favorite songs called The Fiddlin' Man, and it was written by Michael Martin Murphy. When the fiddling man came to our town, sister dressed up with her prettiest gown, but mama told sister don't be hanging around that no good fiddling man. Because the fiddling man ain't on the level, he'll fiddle like an angel but act like a devil, but sister wouldn't listen cause she was a rebel, she liked that fiddling man. She went to the dance state all night long, mama waited up till the break of dawn, mama found a letter that said she's gone. With that no good fiddling man And then sister and off with the fiddling man Mama threw fit banging pots and pans Said she better never ever get her hands On that no good fiddling man got me a bow. I practiced in the woods where my mama wouldn't know, cause I knew she'd never ever let me go. Off to be a fiddling man. Now the leaves and the wind, they danced and twirled as I played for the rabbits and I played for the squirrels, but I couldn't wait till they played for the girls. I had to be a fiddling man. And then late one night when the moon was low, I packed my fiddle and I packed my bow. I left him on my note, she said, oh no, he's gonna be a fiddling man. And then I run off to be a fiddling man. Mama threw a fit, banging pots and pans. Said she better never ever get her hands on that no good fiddling man. One night 
night when I started to play, I saw a pretty girl, she was looking my way. She was dancing with her brother and I heard her say, I like that fiddling man. Now her little brother was about me high. He looked at my fiddle with a gleam in his eye. He said to me, sir, I'd sure like to try to learn to be a fiddling man. I said, son, there's a whole lot of boys gotta know like chicken and the briar patch squawking to the girl. He said, I don't care, I just gotta go. Off to be a fiddling man. So I had an old fiddle that I never did play and a sister winked when I gave it away. There ain't no doubt what his mom's gotta say. That no good fiddling man. And then brother ran off to be a fiddling man. Mama threw a fit, made of pots and pans. Said she better never ever get her hands on that no good fiddling man. And then sister ran off with the fiddling man. Mama threw a fit, made of pots and pans. Said she better never ever get her hands on that no good fiddling man. And then we all ran off to be a fiddling man. Mama threw a fit, made of pots and pans. Said she better never ever get her hands on that no good fiddling man. Steve Muse, everybody. Not afraid to be awesome. One of the great things about Main Fiddle Camp is getting to spend so much time outdoors, hearing music while you look at the trees or the pond or a sunset or the roof of your tent at eight in the morning. Uh, our next duo decided to take some tunes outside and in spite of the stay at home order, they even got the accordion out without an issue. Please welcome Sue and Bettina. Hey, Main Fiddle Camp. the variety show. Missing fiddle camp this year. We'll shove the pig's foot into Soldier's, Soldier's Joy. Joy. <laughs> Thank you, Bettina and Sue. That was great. Good that you're getting some fresh air as well. Up next, two main fiddle camp stalwarts, Brian and Aiden Wheeland. Brian is a music teacher, and he and his son Aiden have been creating videos for Brian's classes. We're glad that they had some energy and material left to send us some. So, without further ado, Brian and Aiden. Uh, this one's called Frank's Real.
for listening. Thank you, Brian and Aiden. Uh, our next act is on staff as one of our banjo instructors for the weekend, uh, but she also plays fiddle, the bagpipes, and is a fantastic storyteller. I uh, think she has got her banjo and a story for us right now. So please make her welcome, Jennifer Armstrong. <laughs> song and a new story to share with you. Here it goes. It's called uh, How Mama Sniff Uses Her Sniffer. chair on the back porch of a comfortable house. There sat a woman with a banjo on her lap. The house was white, but made up for that with blue and yellow and green shutters around all the windows. There were cats sitting on sofas inside looking out, and there were chickens perched on branches outside looking in. Along with this looking out and looking in, the rocking chair was rocking forward and back, forward and back, and the woman's hands on the banjo were strumming and picking, purring and pecking, like they were cats and chickens all looking and playing together all at the same time. And there was singing and sighing, clucking and crowing, and there was happiness, pure happiness happening on the porch and on the sofas and on the branches and in the rocking chair going forward and back, forward and back. So sweet, so timeless, so fragile. In the blink of an eye, the snap of a branch, the end of the song, everything changes just like that. The woman on the porch with the banjo in her hands stops rocking and lifts her head. Her nose wiggles up and waggles down. Nostrils whirl with sniffing and snuffing, whiffing and woofing. I smell trouble, she says at last. I smell trouble creeping in like a skunk in the hen house, like a rat in the parlor like a timekeeper shouting, do this, when I would much rather do that. And so, with the skunk and the rat and the do this, not that, there was much more going backward than forward, and the cats left the sofas, and the chickens left the branches, and the woman left the porch, and pure happiness left the little house with the blue and yellow and green shutters around all the windows so sad, so typical, so needless. On a peg on a back porch, there hangs a banjo with strings singing when the wind blows, strings calling, come play, come rock forward and back, forward and back. There are branches in the yard calling, come perch, come look in. There are sofas in the house calling, come sit, come look out. There is a woman lifting her head from the task at hand and sniffing the air. She is sniffing a sweet, intoxicating scent. It is the aroma of time to do that, not this. I smell music, says the woman. I hear the banjo calling. I see the cats running to the sofas and the chickens running to the branches. It is time to rock forward and back, forward and back. So right, so fine, so fragrant, so Mama Sniff. Fingers picking on the banjo, hands strumming to and fro. Fingers picking on the banjo, hands strumming to and fro. Hey, all oh, diddle, all oh, diddle, 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 all oh, hold on, diddle all day. Just hold 
them chickens looking in. Rockin' chair, rockin' forward and back, purr and pluck and cluckin' on the wind. Hey, old diddle, old diddle. Happiness is clapping and tapping its toes, sighing and singing fills the air. Hey ho, diddle oh, diddle 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 oh, ho, dum diddle all day. Hey ho, diddle oh, diddle 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 oh, ho, dum diddle all day. Ha! Chair on the porch, banjo on a peg, both calling, come on out and play. Cats and chickens running, happiness is coming. I smell music on the way. Hey, ho, diddle, oh, diddle, 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 oh, ho, dum, diddle all day. Hey, ho, diddle, oh, diddle, 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 oh, ho, dum, diddle all day. Ha! Jennifer for the story. I've been a big fan of our next performer for quite a while. You'll soon see why. Please make welcome the artist known to some as Finnegan. Yeah, music, dance, and costume changes. Amazing stuff, Finnegan. Next up, two musicians from New Hampshire who are brother and sister. Uh, Liz is a music teacher in Concord, New Hampshire, uh, and Dan is a great painter in addition to playing guitar. I don't think they have wardrobe changes quite like Finnegan's, but they do have some costuming that's kind of become mainstream these days. Please make them feel welcome. Liz and Dan Fayella. Hey, Rain Fiddle Camp! This is Liz and Dan Faella. You might know us from past Main Fiddle Camps. Um, thanks so much for watching the variety show. We have a tune for you um, that is called... What's it called? 
The Old Bush. The Old Bush. And we're going to follow that with a tune from Brittany, France, called Larry Day. And it's one of many bazillions of Larry Days. Um, and this is just a friendly reminder to wear a mask and stand six feet apart. And keep playing tunes. Great music, Liz and Dan. Liz and Dan have been hosting live stream concerts on Facebook and other platforms, as have many of your Main Fiddle Camp staff. Check them out and give them your support. Up next, a Main Fiddle Camp classic played by the lovely Bess and Noah. Take it away. This tune is called Mouth of the Tobique. It's from Quebec.
Bye-bye. And bye Folks, I don't know about you, but I have never had a more luscious head of hair since my home hair care regimen started back on March 12th. If you have some home hair care techniques and tips you'd like to pass along, or particularly any haircutting advice, we want to see your home haircuts. Just send us an email at IAlwaysWearAHATNow at gmail.com and share your story. Up next, she's my colleague in the Martins. She's the champion of tone and taste. It's Bethany Wakeman. She's joined here by Hans Araki on a large flute. <laughs>
beautiful tunes. That guitar player looks really familiar. I feel like I've, I've seen them recently. Huh. Well, I got my ukulele for this next one. Um, it's a long-standing tradition at Main Fiddle Camp to have some couples dances at the end of the barn dance every night. And our next act is gonna perform one of these Main Fiddle Camp classics. I just hope that the melody player doesn't cut themselves while the dancers cut a rug. It's hard to explain, but uh, you'll see what I mean. Please welcome John Cannon and Sarah Mann and friends, the Mann Cannons. Great work, John and Sarah. Miss you guys, and we can't wait to meet your new addition to the family. I have great hopes that he will be the next Paganini of the socket set. Moving on from lame tool jokes, we've got another main fiddle camp staff member for you, sharing some words in a song. It's Mia Bertelli. Hello, fiddle camp. Boy, I miss you all so dearly. And I am so sorry we won't be able to be together in person this year, but I am very much looking forward to virtual main fiddle camp and uh, whatever shenanigans we get up to over the interwebs. Looking forward to maybe taking a workshop or two of my own, seeing anybody who comes to the Warbler workshops, and um, seeing what you all have to share in the camper concerts and the virtual variety show, which... I guess I am a part of right now. How about that? Um, I have a song that I would like to share with you today that comes from a place of current reflection for me about what is happening in our country at this moment. Um, I've drawn from a couple old sources. Um, the words for this come from, uh, well, the first two verses are written by a man named G.K. Chesterton, who um, is quite old, was very old. He's an old man. He is dead. He's dead. Um, uh, he was born in the late 1800s and died in the early 1900s. Um, and he was an English writer and theologian. Um, and the words that he wrote in this poem are mostly used today in a church hymn setting, I believe, but I learned them from a recently composed shape note version of his poem. Uh, and that is the melody that I'll be singing more or less, although I've been rather free with it. Um, the last three verses are ones I wrote um, about now. And I would just like to say how grateful I am to be a part of a community like Maine Fiddle Camp. Um, 
and that we can all come together and share music and have a place to share the things that we care about. I can't wait to see you all in person again. O oh God of earth and altar, bow down and hear our cry. Our earthly rulers falter, our people drift and die. The walls of gold and tumors, the swords of scorn divide. Take not thy thunder from us, but take away. From all that terror teaches, from lies of tongue and pen, from all the easy speeches that comfort cruel men, from profanation of honor and the sword from sleep and from damnation deliver us O Lord if we can look beyond the veil and see what's truly there, from ignorance we'll be set free from enslavement to fear. We cannot change hate with hate on any side of any wall. Our power lies in unity and equality for all. So do not hate your neighbor friends no matter what they think nor turn hate nor shame upon yourself for you are the one we need embrace the power of your love to change the way you see. Together we can change the tide and give equal rights to all who breathe. May the riches of living be shared with one and all. May all be free to simply be, to flourish and stand tall. May safety be a given. May art and culture thrive. May our humanness bring us 
together. May we celebrate black life. Wow. Yeah, thank you for that. I'm just gonna take a second here. Well, getting back to main fiddle camp camper contributions, um, there's a variety of fiddle genres that are represented at main fiddle camp. And our next performer has uh, hosted an old time jam every afternoon in the summer. Uh, some of my favorite tunes, and uh, I think he's got two great ones picked out for us right now. Please welcome Dave Fox. Hi everybody, I'm Dave Fox. I'm here in my shop in Westford, Massachusetts, at five minutes from the front door of where Fiddle Hell gets held, if it gets held this year. It's a very convenient from my point of view, uh, probably less so for other folks. I'm going to play a couple of tunes, oh, a couple of old time, Appalachian old time tunes. Uh, first one is Willow on the Lake, and I got that from a Raina Gellert CD, Starch and Iron. Uh, I probably play it somewhat differently than she does. And the second tune is Walking in My Sleep, and Bruce Molsky plays that. Who knows how he plays it now, but this is from an old LP. Um, aerobics and the exertions. If you can find it, it's a fun LP and it's a very interesting one. So here it goes, a couple of new old time tunes. Thank you. 
Fantastic tunes as usual, Dave. Thanks so much. Uh, oh, up next, we're back to our main fiddle camp staff. We've got Kenny Raskin showing some of his talents that we don't usually get to see at camp, and a collaboration with Doug Protzik. Any of you who have had a conversation with Doug at any point of camp are very aware of the fact that Doug loves old-time piano music and old films. So old, in fact, it was before words were invented. I write my own jokes. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, yeah, Doug frequently will arrange new scores for silent movies and perform them around Maine and probably elsewhere. I got to see one a couple years ago. It was uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and it was captivating. Without any further ado, we have Kenny Raskin, Doug Protzik, in a short day titled My Old Friend.
Oh my God, that was amazing. Don't you think so, Merv? Yeah, I agree. Hey everybody, this is Merv. Uh, we've had a lot of good in-depth conversations since we've both been shut inside for various reasons. Pretty good guy, you know, I, I think we agree on most things and, and see eye to eye, we... No? Jeez. Well, our next uh, camper submission uh, really dug deep to address this really big issue. We miss Maine Fiddle Camp. What can we do about it? I mean, it's not like we can just snap our fingers and fix everything. Anyway, uh, we're gonna bring you now to the McEachern family. We'll help us get the answer. Take it away. Uh, I wish I was at Maine Fiddle Camp. Wait a minute. Maybe I could just... There we go. Now we just need to... Let's get this to feel more like me and Phil Kent. Maybe if I just... Oh, perfect. Now I just need some people to play with. What if I... Maybe I could just... One, two... Whoa! Where did that come from? I don't know where you came from. Where am I? I don't know. You think we'll get a whistle player to come here too? I don't know. Let's try. Let's try one, two. Whoa. How'd you get here? I don't know. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. Look at these shirts. That's cool. I think we are at main fiddle camp. Pretty much. I think there's only one thing left to do. Play a tune. Let's do it. snap of the fingers? Well, let's see what happens. Just kidding. I'm not going anywhere near that again for a good while. Uh, if you've been playing along with the virtual main fiddle camp, virtual variety show, exclusive collector's edition, bingo scorecard, and you're missing penultimate on there, We've arrived. It's the penultimate act of our variety show, and presenting the penultimate number is the completely ultimate Jeremiah McLean with three original tunes. Take it away, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you. 
we've got one more act before we finish the evening. Katie Newell to close out the show with a lullaby, but before we go, big thanks to Mr. Glenn Loper, my friend and co MC, who's being edited in. We can't edit, we don't have an we don't have a graphics department. Well, I wish you had told me that before. We can cut this part. Okay, write that down. We don't want to forget. That would be really embarrassing. Okay. All right. Okay, and... Thanks to Glenn Loper, my friend and co-MC. Also, uh, big thanks to all of the Main Fiddle Campers and Main Fiddle Camp staff who submitted a ton of great content that uh, we were not able to fit everyone in. But keep your eyes open. Uh, we'll use that content in other ways. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, I just want to say personally, I am, I'm really sad that we won't be together this year like we have been. But we're making do, and uh, we'll be together again. Hopefully a little wiser, a little stronger, and a little kinder. So I'll see you in 2021. To close out the show, Katie Newell with a lullaby. Now is the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. Oh, this earth, it is a garden, the garden of our Lord. And he walks in his garden in the cool of the day. My Lord, he said unto me, Do you like my garden so fair? You may live in this garden if you keep the grasses green, and I'll return in the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. All this earth, it is a garden, the garden of our Lord. And he walks in his garden in the cool of the day. My Lord, he said unto me, Do you like my garden so pure? You may live in this garden if you keep the waters clean and I'll return in the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. Oh, this earth it is a garden the garden of our Lord, and he walks in his garden in the cool of the day. My Lord, he said unto me, Do you like my pastures of green? You may live in these pastures if you feed all of my sheep. And I'll return in the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. Now is the cool of the day. All this earth, it is a garden, the garden of our Lord. And he walks in his garden in the cool of the day.